And I'm Ava Joy Burnett following the Westmore campaign now in downtown Baltimore. As you can imagine, these candidates are really banking on those final voters who may not have made up their minds just yet. Some of the issues that uh, voters have heard this campaign talk about uh, surrounds education. He's gotten the endorsement of the Maryland Education Association, and he said he wants to ensure that there is free universal pre-K. He also talks about job training and ensuring that there is adequate job training to connect people with the good paying jobs that may be available in the state. Crime is a big issue that all of these candidates have been talking about. He's gotten the endorsement of the Fraternal Order of Police, but Westmore says he's not only focusing on that aspect, he's also focusing on community groups that are trying to stop the violence here, not only in Baltimore City, but also across the state. Another big issue that he's been talking about is reducing that income inequality between black Marylanders and white Marylanders. Here's a little bit more about what he had to say to us earlier today. This will be airing uh, about two hours before the polls close. We're going to put you on the spot. What is your 30 second elevator pitch? 30 second elevator pitch is that in Maryland, it is our time to be bold. Uh, and the thing that we want Marylanders to understand is when we say we have a leave no one behind agenda, we mean that. That means every single part of the state, that means every community, that means understanding that we need everybody in order for us to accomplish the big things that Maryland needs to accomplish. Leave no one behind, which I learned when I was 17 years old and I first joined the Army. It was something that they taught us. And it's not just a mantra, it has become a value statement, and it's not just a value statement. Come January, that will be the new mission of the state of Maryland. So that is the last minute elevator pitch that Westmore really has been trying to use today in these final hours leading up to the polls closing. A Baltimore Sun, University of Baltimore recent poll said Westmore is about 30 points ahead. Earlier today, Moore told us that he's still running as if he is 10 points behind. In Baltimore, Ava Joy Burnett for WJC.